Hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Now, have you ever wondered with graphs how you label cases? Because suppose you have a graph and you spot something which appears to be an outlier, how do you identify the case number of that outlier, potential outlier? In this video, I'm going to give you the answer to that. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to fit a scatter plot. I have an example here where the DV is earnings and the IV is work years of work experience. I'm going to create a scatter plot. To do that, I go to graphs. Now I could use the chart builder or legacy dialogues, which gives us the menu from previous versions of SPSS. Since in the previous video I have used the legacy dialogues, let's this time use the chart builder. Click OK. From the menu here, I choose scatter plot. Then I choose a simple scatter, which is this one. And then I drag earnings into the y axis and x into x axis. Now, since I've already done it previously, let's do that again. Earnings into the y axis there, and you see earnings will appear there. And experience is dragged into there like so. Okay, once we've done that, we click OK. And the graph appears. That's my scatter plot. So if we look at it, it looks appears that this could be potential outlier. So let but uh, which case is it? Which case is it? Right. Well, I mean, the hard way to do it is kind of guess what the coordinate of that is. So that's with experience of around between 20 and 22 and a half, and a y value of between 80 and 100. Then you'd go to the data set and try to and go for it line by line and try to find out the nearest coordinate to do it. Okay, you can imagine that uh, is a frustrating procedure. So thank God we can actually find the case number by doing the following. Double click to activate. Right now, double cl well, click w once on the dot. You can see that, I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but uh, all these dots now have a halo, a yellow one around them. Okay, now if I click on it one more time, I'm not talking about double click, just single click, you can see that only this particular one has got a yellow halo, all the other ones now have no halos. Once that, that means now I have now isolated that point. Now to find out the case number of that point, I go to elements, then I go show data labels, that's what you want. Okay, and then in this box under the tab data value labels we want displayed case number. If case number isn't there we bring it up from the bottom not displayed versus displayed. So it's there uh, we go close there you are it's case 15. So we'll go back to the data set it's case 15 so if we go down here to 15 it's telling us it's this one earnings at 87 and experience at 21.46. There you go. Say that I have more than one I wish to label, then you will just repeat the process I've just done here. Say I want this one also, so I click once, just for practice. All the yellow, all the dots have now a yellow halo, I click once again on this button to isolate it, like so. Now only this has got the yellow halo, then I go to elements, show data values and done voila now some other things we could mention is that we could actually you know you can drag this thing around to reposition it see what I'm doing here I'm just dragging it around to reposition it alright so that's something you might want to do okay so that's the 
easy way to label identify cases outlines. Hope that's been helpful.